Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake's Toils, and today I'll be showing you how to make a logo slash watermark. And first of all, this was requested by Rude Van Stelroy One. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, but he said, "Also, can you make a vid on how to make watermarks?" And he said, "Thanks a lot." Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, another thing, you will need Firefox, I mean, no, you'll need Fireworks, sorry, I'm using Firefox, or Photoshop. Um, you can make a watermark with some other programs, but this, like, for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make one with Fireworks, and it's basically the same with Photoshop. So, first of all, just open up Fireworks slash Photoshop, say create new, then PN PNG, if you're in fireworks then for the width put a hundred and for the height put a hundred and make sure it's pixels and then for the height it's pixels and pixels slash inch and this is very important down below the color you want to put transparent and click OK okay so first of all what you want to do is you want to go to this little box and you want to click on it or right click on it and say go to ellipse tool and this here, I'll just zoom in um, this is where you make the circle I guess you can make a rectangle or square wh whatever they have for shapes but I think circles look a little bit better and then you choose your background right here and hmm oh uh, yeah I'll just stick with white and let's see next if you go to filters then you go to this plus sign you can see a little some of the options like for the blur there's some zoom blur you can add some noises um, and here's what I'm going to do I'm going to go to shadow and glow and say inner glow and you can just mess around with some of this um, it really doesn't matter you, um, yeah, so this uh, this isn't going to be one of my logos, but this is just a demo for the tutorial. Yeah, so just mess around with some of these, um, you know, different choices, and you can just, yeah, it doesn't really matter what you put. I would keep the offset at zero, and then, like, I don't think you want to put that all the way to 35. I'd put it somewhere around 4 to 6. Yeah, um, uh, mine is usually at four. And the next thing you want to do is go to this text icon and just make like a rectangle maybe and put JT for initials. And really, um, you can change the colors, like say red, and then that's how that's how it'll look right here. But to make it look even better, if you go down below assets, or I think that's how you pronounce it, then you go to styles. It's right next to the library. You go to styles, and then um, you'll see some uh, some styles like here. This is usually the one I use for my tutorials. I mean, not for as for my logos, and yeah. So just there's a lot of them, and you just wait for them to load some of them take longer some of them don't I don't know I haven't really messed around with any of this um yeah so that there's some other things hmm. like here's like the eraser tool I'm sure you know about that um let's see yeah um, most of the stuff you can probably already you know, tell, like the pencil and the eraser and the bl blur tool, like can make your image blurred. Um, you can wait. Just I just messed that up. Um, you can put. I wouldn't recommend doing this, but you can click on the paint bucket tool you can select a color 
just click on that and it'll make it blue and yeah I would, as I said I, I wouldn't recommend that but you can do that and then if you click on this you can move the objects around and yeah so that's basically it for this tutorial I hope you like it and yeah so please comment rate and subscribe and please remember to request more tutorials and yeah thanks for watching bye